Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 10. In this video, we will cover a sidecar scenario question. The twelfth question is, you can find a pod named Multipod, is running in the cluster and that is logging to a volume. You need to insert a sidecar container into the pod, that will also read the logs from the volume using the tail command. The sidecar specifications are given below. The sidecar image should be BusyBox version 1.28, and the container name should be sidecar, and also need to mount the volume slash var slash BusyBox slash log. I will explain the question with this diagram. We have a container, and that container is mounted into storage. So the logs of the container will be stored in the storage. We need to add another container into the pod and we need to mount the same storage volume into the new container. So the sidecar container can access the same log files in the main container. I will show you how to achieve this. You can see a pod is running in our cluster. Let's curl this pod. You can see the pod is listening. First, we need to take the pod configuration to a file. I am going to take a backup of this YAML file in the exam. You have to take a backup for precaution if you are dealing with existing running pods. Let's open the YAML file. This is the running time configuration file of the pod. In order to add a container into a running pod, we need to recreate it. Updation is not possible, so actually we are going to take the existing pod settings and we will add a new sidecar configuration to this YAML file, then we will destroy the existing pod, and we will recreate the pod with new YAML file, that is our plan. We can see lots of configurations in this YAML file, but we need only the pod name, container image, container name, and the volume part of this file, rest of all we can remove. Once again, please note, we need only the metadata, container image, container name, and volume mount, this much is enough. Okay, this much information is only needed for recreating this pod. Let's save and exit. So, this is the actual YAML file of the existing running pod, we are going to add a sidecar into it. Let's copy the existing container section. Change the container name to sidecar. Change the image to BusyBox 1.28. We don't need port. We need to change the volume mount path as per the question. We need to run the command inside the container for reading the logs, we can copy it from the question.
You can see the main container and the sidecar containers are sharing the same host storage volume, so the log files that are writing to the volume will be accessible from the sidecar also. Okay, we have to delete the existing pod first. Let's apply the new YAML file. Yes, it is running. You can see two containers in our new pod. Let's curl for checking the running condition of our pod. Pod is listening. Let's check the logs. Yes, we are getting the logs of the main container through sidecar container. We can see some old logs, because the old pod has mounted a host volume, so those logs are persisted. Let's cross-check once again. Yes, we can see the new logs. Thank you for watching this video, in the next video we will cover another scenario of sidecar containers, if you felt this video is useful for your certification practice, then please do like and subscribe.